Yo, shalom. All praises to the Most High. Yo, 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 this is Sounds from YYBY. Yo, let's talk about it, man. Um, you know, in in this digital world, right? You know, we we finally came a long way where we've been spoil you a lot with music. Um, in this digital world, uh, the mixing process and the quality is very clean compared to the you know the the, the old days. You know, um. If you're at a certain age in this music, you 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 will understand this to a certain extent. See, I come from the '70s and the '80s, and you know, music '80s and the '90s. Uh, you know, we was going to analog studios, so we seen a lot of things from like the tape era, the real tape and stuff like that. So, if you haven't experienced that, then now this is the time for you to understand. But those who experienced that era, you will understand this concept in this video and i think a lot of people already know about these mixed legend plugins but they don't really understand the concept studio one actually did something that no doll has done no doll out has done this you know I, I well reason to a certain extent with they mixer with the xl mixer ssl mixer they did this because the sl mixer is an old school analog style that's why I give you that certain type of sound when the, the music is going through it. You know, I, I don't know if y'all noticed that, but it give you that type of sound. But every doll that's out, uh, the mixer, the console is digital. It's, 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 it's a, it, it give you that very clean sound that we love. But at the same time, we still love the old school sound too. And, you can't just get rid of something great, even though you go to better and higher things and, but you can't get rid of great things. It's kind of like you buying a new car, you know, you know, the new cars, the modern day new cars, but who don't love an 88 Impala? You know, who don't, who don't love the, the old Chevys and you know, the convertible joints, you know, the way they build and protect you when you driving because they, they made a steel, you know, iron or one of them, which one. So the point what I'm saying is you can't get rid of it. So this video is really about to break down how, uh, the brilliant idea that Studio One has done that no dog has done. And first I want to say that a lot of companies like Waves and, 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 and and other companies they all created plugins that emulate you know you know consoles and they always you know emulate the the EQ and the compressor you know on the console and the, you know you know the and the gate on the compressor you know on the console and everything but Studio One has emulated that concept in a whole different way. And I want to show y'all something, right? So on this console, right? Again, we know this digital. We know this, that very clean sound when you want that clean sound. But when you download these certain plugins, you know, uh, you got three versions. You got the Alpine Desk, the Brick Console, and the Porter Cassette, right? So I did a video, a video a while back about the Porter Cassette. So I'm going to start with the Alpine Desk first. And the Alpine Desk is this plugin right here. Now, when you open this up on this master right here, it turns this whole console into this, you know, the old API console. They created this on the low off the API console. That's what they did. They created this, you know, you know, uh, the model after the API console, which is one of the popular ones. And you notice that the, the buttons they got, I know y'all seen videos about this already of the drive, the boost, the noise gate. They ain't focusing on the EQs and the compressors. They changing the whole console into that whole, they changing the digital console in studio one, you know, in, into the whole API console period. Everything that's running through it, like the noise and the, you know, 
Now, they'll never get it 100%, but let me tell you, these things sound good and they do very subtle. And you have to really play it low to really hear the difference. I'm not going to do the, the sound test. I'm going to do another video for that. But I just want to talk about the brilliant idea that Nose Doll has done. But again, hear me out, people. You got the other brands, the companies, they making the, you know, they make them like the waves got the APIs and they got the other ones, but they focus on the EQ on the strip part, like the EQ and the compressor and stuff like that. I was like, I was saying, but this is focusing on the whole console, like the whole vibe, the, 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 the noise and the, and the, um, just the analog style of it. If, if I'm really making sense and when it, it, it runs, all the music will run through this. And also, the music you can also run through a bus. You can't drop this on a regular track, but you can run it through a bus. So I can get these tracks right here. Like if I if I get this right, if I go up here, let me go to the effects. If I go up here and I and I say I want to drop this on this track, you know, see it's kind of impossible. If I drop it right here, what it does, it will create a bus. And and whatever tracks I got running through that bus, again, it would mix affect those uh particular tracks and it, it makes sense so really you can have a couple tracks running through the uh the analog console and then have the other tracks running the regular clean digital way so you're getting best of both worlds and again this is not talking about the EQ. This is this is the whole feel and vibe. Like if you ever had a console, if you ever had one of the old school, if you ever had one and touched one and been in the studio where you you play with them, then you'll know what I'm talking about. If you never experienced that, go find out. Um, now and again, this is for people who they they got away from the analog world. They love the digital stuff like me more, but at the same time, you still love certain things about the analog way you know it's still certain things it's certain unique things you wanted to sound that way and so people be like well well if y'all love the digital stuff so much why are you focusing on that analog stuff because again you got creativity you got movies you have tv shows you have skits you have all you you might have a person who want to do an album where they wanted to sound like you you know uh that old school vibe uh, or they doing an old school movie where they doing an old just like a cowboy movie they got to make people look like the old cowboy days they can't make them look like modern you no know, a modern cowboy i guess so you know you it's the same scenario same concept so again you know it's great you don't want to get rid of it so now the brick the brick console on the low, this one is copying the SSL. You can kind of look at it in a way and tell. It's copying the SSL. So the ones who love the SSL, the same concept with Reason did with the SL Mixer. And when you, with that warm that comes through it and all that, you get that same concept here now. You add it on top of the master and then run it through the whole console. Now you got that whole vibe through that whole song. I'm not going to tell you how the knobs work and all that because I'm sure y'all seen many videos, but a lot of people probably ain't really getting the concept of this, man. Like this is, this is mind boggling. This is mind blowing. I'm telling y'all. And again, it's no dog that's doing this. And some people might get on here and say, yo, you know, we, it's plugins that no, the plugins. If you go look at those analog plugins, they're more focused on the EQs and the compressors of that console. This is focusing on the whole, like the built in of the console of everything running through it from the wires the 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 the, the, the mics the everything recording through it and and it's it just a whole it trust me it's a whole nother vibe like that's why you don't see eqs and compression you see character you see crosstalk you see noise gate with the noise get that hiss noise that you normally get in the drive and stuff like that and the harmonics all that type of vintage super feel and you know super modern and all those type of feels that you get through it you know, the other plugins focusing on the, the way the, 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 you know, the EQs and the compressors, you know, and that stuff sound, you know, so it, you know, it is there halfway, but it's not completely making, you know, getting that whole feel of that analog, you know, of that whole console. And now the third one is the, the, the Porter cassette tape right here. 
And I had an old video. Y'all can, y'all can go check that out. And this one is the concept exactly of the cassette tape that we used to have back in the day recording stuff and playing music. And everybody know what I'm talking about, that blue. You'll see it on the screen. But this is the copy of that. And man, you really get that real analog feel with this, man. And if you bought tapes back in the day, you know what I'm talking about. We used to wait in line buying those tapes. You know, and uh, you know, and, and the way that tape sound and and the, the the feel of it and everything, even to this day, man. Y'all young people, man, y'all, if y'all never experienced that, go find that out. I know you love music. I know you're on the new stuff. But sometimes you don't know where you're going at until you know where it came from. You know, and, and that's just, that's a fact. I'm telling you. And all this would do by you going back, learning the, the, the purpose and the concept of these things. All it does is just make your skills better. Make your knowledge more better. Make you understand and grasp the certain things of why the old heads and the top old engineers do what they do, you know, and all these type of things and why some bigger studios still got the console sitting right there. They, they still got the doll. They got the doll all day, right? They got the doll all day in the studio. They using Pro Tools. They using whatever doll they use in Studio One and, and Cubases and, and stuff like that and, you know, in, uh, and uh, what's the other big dog that's in another country? Um, uh, 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 I forgot what it's called, man. Um, but anyway, these big companies still use these dolls, but they still running certain stuff through the console. So they're getting best of both worlds. And a lot of the time, they're not even telling you this. They, they dealing with best of the both worlds. So when it comes to a person like me, who don't want to have the console in the studio? Who don't want to have the big board in front of me? You know, because I don't record bands. You know, I, I record, you know, solo artists and groups and stuff like that. Hip hop artists, R&B artists and, and whatever, you know, everything else. Solo guitarists and solo pianists and stuff like that. So, you know, you don't need that big board in front of you. You don't need that, that electric taking, you know, raise the rent up board in front of you i kid you not but they great to have and if you don't want to use that this right here in studio one is perfect and bring you to that world so you still get best of both worlds and you still get that same type of vibe and quality you know and uh that's what dope about it man and you know i think eventually every dog will probably emulate this and again this approach right here is way different from the plugins that you know some of them create that emulates certain parts of the console. The only dog besides this Studio One that has a console that emulates a mixer of the old school, which is the SSL, is Reason. That's it. And that's dope. This is YYBY.